David and the chiefs of the service also set apart for the service the sons of Asaph and of Heman and of Jeduthun, who prophesied with lyres, with harps, and with cymbals. The list of those who did the work and of their duties was, They were all under the direction of their father in the music in the house of the Lord with cymbals, harps, and lyres for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the order of the king. The number of them, along with their brothers, who were trained in singing to the Lord, all who were skillful, was two hundred and eighty-eight. David and the officers of the army also set apart for the service the sons of Asaph and of Heman and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with lyres, harps, and cymbals. The list of those who did the work and of their duties was... They were all under the direction of their father for the music in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, harps, and lyres for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the order of the king. They and their kindred, who were trained in singing to the Lord, all of whom were skillful, numbered 288. David, together with the commanders of the army, set apart some of the sons of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun for the ministry of prophesying, accompanied by harps, lyres, and cymbals. Here is the list of the men who performed this service. All these men were under the supervision of their father for the music of the temple of the Lord, with cymbals, lyres, and harps for the ministry at the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the supervision of the king. Along with their relatives, all of them trained and skilled in music for the Lord, they numbered two hundred and eighty-eight. David and the army commanders then appointed men from the families of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun to proclaim God's messages to the accompaniment of lyres, harps, and cymbals. Here is a list of their names and their work. All these men were under the direction of their fathers as they made music at the house of the Lord. Their responsibilities included the playing of cymbals, harps, and lyres at the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman reported directly to the king. They and their families were all trained in making music before the Lord, and each of them, 288 in all, was an accomplished musician. Next, David and the worship leaders selected some from the family of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun for special service in preaching and music. Here is the roster of names and assignments. Under their father's supervision, they were in charge of leading the singing and providing musical accompaniment in the work of worship in the sanctuary of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman took their orders directly from the king. They were well trained in the sacred music, all of them masters. There were 288 of them.